this is Andy Purawal for ID Boxing, and I'm joined by the surgeon, Benzo, Ben Whitaker. Ben, you delivered what everybody was hoping for. Second round stoppage victory. Talk me through what it is like to be out there for the first time as a pro, and congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. Firstly, I want to thank God, I want to thank my team and everybody behind me, all the supporters. But yeah, it was a good one. First fight since the Olympics. I don't really believe in ring Rasputus. The whole week dragged, you know. Uh, I probably ate a bit too much today. Just felt a bit heavy. I just wanted to just have fun in there. Um, go through the motions, take all the, the whole atmosphere type of thing. Come back to my corner. Sugar said, all right, it's time now. Put some stiff shots in there and show them what we've been working on. Jab, boom, right hand. And that's all she wrote, man. So it was a nice debut, but I'm my own critic. There's a lot to work on and on to, back to the drawing board. Talk me through about first round in particular, Ben, the one which most people remember, a lot of showboat and a lot of flashy things from yourself. Everybody knows what to expect from you, though. Um, what do you feel you can take away from that round? Uh, it wasn't my cleanest, because sometimes my showboat is just juicy, but I wanted to show that's still my star. A lot of people expected me to just come out and bulldoze people. That's not me. I can do it, and it showed in the second round, but I wanted to show I'm still me. I'm still Ben Whitaker. In the second round, I showed, OK, I'm Ben Whitaker 2.0 with some power in my punch. The second round, as you mentioned, you went back to a corner and Sugar Hill told you what to do. That was quite quick, that overhand right that you landed. Walk me through it. Yeah, well, I knew it was there, but it's, it's one of them. I thought, I've got a lot of people coming down. If I knock him out in the first round, it'll be good, but I want a little show. So I had a bit of fun in the first round, come back. I've been doing that in all, all my sparring camps, things like that. I've been working on the pads, working on the bag, and I knew my shot was there. Seen it, took it, and that's why they call me the surgeon. Ben, you mentioned kind of well, off camera, you said you wanted to get him out of there in the first round, but on reflection, was that almost the perfect way to do it in the second round? Because at least for one round, people got a glimpse as to what to expect from you in the future, whether they like it or not. 100%. I always wanted to knock out no matter what. First round would have been juicy, but then again, people got to see my star, got to entertain the crowd, have a bit of fun, get some minutes in, and then I got the knockout no matter what. If the knockout come fifth or sixth, I would have been. A bit in, been a bit annoyed, but second round is nice, and it was early in the second round as well. What did Sugar say to you about your performance? Sugar said, oh, we, that's what we're talking about. But he's a critic as well, so after this, I'll probably go back to Miami and uh, get back to work. You say this, you know, a few rumours, and I asked Ben about you, at Ben Shalom, that is earlier this week, that there's a potential spot on the AJ Usyk 2 card out in Saudi Arabia. Can you fill us in? Is that still kind of in the bag there? Who knows, man? You'll see in a couple of days. You know what I mean? But all I know is... Got the job done today, and then whenever they want me out next, I'm out next, man, because I want to stay as active as possible. Sugar, I'm going to do something with you. Sure, hey. oh. Somebody asked me, what did I think of the performance? I told him it was, it was worth two rollies. <laughs> <laughs> Not one. Bling, bling. <laughs> um, ben, just a, a final couple of ones from yourself. What would you like to say to everyone who turned out tonight to watch you here in Bournemouth? Oh, man, what a great thing. I know I'm cocky and things like that, but stuff like that is very humbling, man. A lot of people travel down. A lot of friends and family I haven't seen for a good while. And like yourself, Andy, we've been friends for a good while now. So to see us both doing what we're doing, it's nice to see. But just more nights like this, I'll be grateful, you know, and uh, this is what I work for. Uh, ben, obviously, it's great for me on a personal level to be able to see you do so well. And if ever you get a lucky decision in your career, I'm sure I'll be the first to tell you. Um, and also, I was wearing jean shorts when I interviewed Sugar the other day, so I saw your comment. You know you don't want that. <laughs> Shut up, man. No, I, uh, I've never really done stuff like that. So when he started pressing upon me, I was like, what's this boy in jean shorts doing, man? I don't know who he's pressing on. But, you know, that's, that's the pro life. I've got to get used to it and stuff like that. And he was a nice kid we talked after and fair play for him to take the fight, you know. He was good. And here on the seaside, how are you celebrating tonight? You know what? I'm not really a party person, so I'm going to go back, have a shower, get some good food in me. I brought my PlayStation down, jump on that for a bit. Early morning, because I'm going to Barcelona tomorrow to finish off my tattoo, so perfect weekend, man. Oh, ben, listen, I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon again, but thank you for speaking to me and ID Boxing. Enjoy this victory. Hey, shout out ID Boxing, man. The best in the business. <laughs>